What's up guys? Archangel here back with another video! Part 4 of Best Friends Better Enemies Next Gen. This time we have Triple H which is Shawn Michaels Armageddon December 15th, 2002. Sunrise, California in a three stages of hell match for the World Heavyweight Championship. A two out of three falls war for the World Heavyweight title. Let's go. Let's start this. The King of Kings, the Heartbreak Kid, two forces set to meet in a three stages of hell match at Armageddon. The first fall, a knockdown drag him out street fight. The second fall, a more menacing arena as a hellacious steel cage surrounds the two combatants. And if necessary, the final stage where victory is won from the top of a ladder. Our story begins at Survivor Series. Shawn Michaels with the elbow from the top of the chamber. Shawn Michaels is the world's heavyweight champion. Legendary world heavyweight champion Ric Flair surprisingly showed a sign of support for the new champion. There was a time I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was the man. Get up on the rap and said, hey, nature boy, you ain't the man anymore. It's Shawn Michaels. Until Flair made clear what his message was really about. There is a new man in town. At Armageddon, the man, the bigger, better version, the best wrestler alive today, Triple H. If you're not ready to pass the torch, he'll kill you. The night was far from over for Triple H and Shawn Michaels as Raw culminated in a brawl no! No! that would set the stage for Armageddon. We're not seeing Shawn Michaels. You're seeing the showstopper right now. Taking out Flair. He's taking out the number one contender. Oh, that's the heart. Oh, my God, he's pounding the ladder to the top. No, God, no! Michaels, the elbow on the top of the semi. A clash of colossal proportions as Triple H takes on Shawn Michaels in three stages of hell that elbow from Shawn Michaels on that semi oh my goodness that <laughs> that was death to I was... Triple H uh, time to play the game uh. alright 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 I like this I like this um in Armageddon, I like this stage because it has both Raw and SmackDown brands, it's like not colliding together, but on the same on the same show. I love how this like one half is Raw, one half is SmackDown, and there's like cracks and stuff. I, I like this one. Really. Not my best arena, but I do like this one. This is actually um actually. Um, it's actually well, a good arena. Contest, it's actually a good arena. I love the arena. Heavyweight yeah. Championship. And is scheduled for the best two out of three falls. The first fall will be a street fight. The second fall will be held inside a steel cage. And the third fall, if necessary, will be a leather match. At this time, accompanied by Nature Boy Ric Flair, here is the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 272 pounds. Triple H! Triple H is the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Cerebral Assassin is a calculating career killer. And tonight the game wants to win the world title. And he would love to end Shawn Michaels' career once and for all while he's at it. Well, you're right about that, Cole. We've heard it over and over. The end is near. And the game may be the end of Shawn Michaels right here tonight. Well, Triple H beat his longtime rival, Shawn Michaels, in a three stages of hell match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Will he defeat Michaels? Or, or will this man right here defeat Triple H for the third time on pay-per-view? From San Antonio, to retain Texas, his world title. Pounds, the world Will Michael champion, still be the champion the after it comes out? John Michael. 
after what we saw on Raw last week with Shawn Michaels jumping off that Shawn Michaels has a disadvantage because of Ric Flair, but that, that doesn't, he doesn't care. As to whether it's going to be Shawn Michaels or whether it's going to be HBK here tonight, that was HBK Michaels. all the way. Yeah, but I don't know if that truly did answer the question, but sure, that was HBK. That was the showstopper jumping off the top of that semi. But if you ask me, that was Shawn Michaels who had to lay in wait to yep. hit Triple H with a shovel to get him into that position in the first place. Now what's going to happen tonight with a face each other nose to nose? The Heartbreak Kid, the game Triple H. A show stopper, the cerebral assassin. Oh, Michaels doing a Ric Flair strut. Oh, Michaels. Not many people can mock me to get away with it. Oh, Rick's Rich. 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 Rick's furious. Oh, Rick's just hit the ref. Ref. Oh, my God. Ref's out. Ref took Ric Flair out. The ref took Ric Flair out. Rick is out. It's between Triple H and Shawn Michaels. This is the ultimate humiliation for the nature boy, Ric Flair. Flair is out, so Triple H doesn't have an advantage anymore. Michaels. Neckbreaker. This is the first fall in this match, and it is a street fight. No disqualifications. No Close line by Triple H. Continue until one man either loses by DDT pitfall or submission. By H. Anything goes in a street fight. Yeah, and with the abuse that both these men oh, are likely God, to go through the under face. these street fight rules, the you gotta face believe that Triple whoever H. wins this first fall is gonna have a huge advantage. Oh, point Michael's game, reversal. No how resilient, but H oh, Michael's, Michael's flying for him. Everyone loses this first fall. Triple H out of the ring. Out of the ring, but in this street fight environment. Michael's reverses his behind well, shot. Oh. Again, Michael's reverses. But is there anyone smarter than Triple H? Nobody nope. uses his mind in the ring oh more my wisely God, than the, the cerebral assassin. And sometimes it's Triple H looking game. under the Shawn ring Michaels for a weapon, no I presume. Self. He can be as controversial and break as many rules for a table. in the ring as anybody. And with the cold, calculating minds of both Triple H and Shawn Michaels that we were talking Ooh, about, Michaels. a three stages of hell match becomes an unbelievably dangerous contest. And the longer this match goes in this barbaric environment, the more it is going to shape the career and take more and more. Michaels and Triple man. H going under the ring, finding a perf, a perf finding a weapon. Triple H hits, strikes first. Triple H strikes first with the sledgehammer to the ribs of Michaels. Boom! These superstars will do whatever it takes to win here tonight. Oh. Again, oh! oh. No. Michaels oh versus it. I he was get level there. Triple H takes it away from him. Again! Oh, Michaels to the ribs. Michaels. Oh my, enough for that sledgehammer. Michaels is just getting He's beaten. got a nasty looking object in his hands. Oh my god, the chair. The chair! Oh! Hey. Oh, Triple H takes the chair away. Oh my god, to the head of Triple H. Oh, the head of Shawn Michaels. Spinebuster. Spinebuster on the outside. Suck it. Ooh, uh, Roman Reigns. Triple H just taunts him. Michaels is oh, Michaels is there. Trying to get up. Oh, Michaels, frustration occurs, ripping out the whole table, the announcer's table. What's he think he's oh, gonna do with I'm that? seeing the sledgehammer. Oh! oh sledgehammer the Boom! Oh my god, what? <laughs> and I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. Triple H. Hear it. Oh my god, she stopped it. Man, I thought he was done for. Triple H with a knee, man. oh my god. Oh, Triple H. Triple H. Go for the pedigree. That's pedigree it. to Michaels. Pin. Cover. One. Right two. Three. Oh, Triple right. H gets the first fall. What's and Triple H getting? The second fall. Triple H got a chair. Inside the steel cage. Oh, no. To win the fall, you must win it by either pinfall or escape 
and, and a table. What's Triple H going to do inside the steel cage? Both feet must touch the floor. And look at the game. He's loading the ring with, well, with weapons. Well, I have to show Michael's eyes right there. He turned white. Player one is now Shawn Michaels. So we're Shawn Michaels now. We're changed. This match is underway, but before that cage came down, Michaels. the game was Michaels. to load the ring up with weapons. Oh, my use. God. Well, the referee might have made the biggest call of the match before the bell had even sounded when he ejected Triple H's mentor. Oh, and Triple H. Close line. Ha whoa, 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 look. Okay, replay that real quick. What happened to that table right there? Contest. Unfairly. <laughs> The table just add. left like it was like a normal match. But it's the referee's call, and the referee's call is final. Blake. Blair didn't do anything Mounted to punches. deserve that. Everything about this three stages of hell match is so unforgiving, and everything comes into play. The cage, the ladder, the steps, Blake. the post, We're after the something, steel. but Shawn Michaels impresses it. Go. The steel doesn't give a damn about an individual's anatomy. And believe me, Shawn Michaels doesn't give a damn about Triple Michaels. H's anatomy. And vice versa, Snap Shawn Michaels needs the opening. Ooh. You have to respect the confidence and poise versus. Triple H is showing. Michaels Shawn versus. Michaels gets out of that one. Nice move. Oh, Michaels going for a power bomb with Triple H. Oh, face buster. That. Oh my God, look to the head. Cole, Elbow to the head. Flair returned to WWE as a co-owner with Mr. McMahon. Michaels, that SPL. was indeed a shocker. Russian when Lexi you think fight. about the street fight they had in the 2002 Royal Rumble in Flair's Ooh, back neck up in Atlanta, Georgia. It was a match that no one thought they would ever see. Oh my Man, god! To the head of Triple H. Triple H somehow back. gets up. Another oh one. Another Shawn one. Michaels is dug down deep. He's Chair's dug broken. Down like he has so many times over his career. Michaels targeting the leg of Triple H. And there's the reversal. Michaels DT. Shots to the head. I've got a feeling that suits Michael. Oh my god. Moves. Right, right on the leg. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Free form, sweet chin music. Whoa, Triple H. He's in big trouble. Oh, yep. there's the reversal Michael's by Shawn Michaels. Boom. Whoa, Triple H looks hurt. Inverted atomic drop by Shawn Michaels. Michaels to the corner. Michael's going for sweet shit music. Ric Flair. Ric Flair opened the over the steel cage. Ric Flair going for a chair to Michael. Michael punches. Oh my god. Ric Flair to the cage. And Ric Flair, oh my god. Grinding. Grinding Ric Flair. Punch the face. Head, sorry. Triple H. Triple H is going. Triple H is going for a pedigree. Pedigree. Michaels reverses. Switching music. Oh my God. Michaels. Michaels. You know you're not gonna be a Jim Ross kind of guy. You can't swear like that. Good. One. Oh, Triple H kicks out. Ooh, four. four. What is that? Forearm or something? An elbow? Michaels! Michaels! Was he going for a neck breaker? Alright, 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 alright. Oh, Triple H reverses. He was one step ahead on that one. He saw that one coming. Ooh, Triple H reverses oh, again. A terrific reversal by Triple Michaels H. reverses again. Oh, Shawn Michaels wants Triple H reverses again. He wants to humiliate Triple H. The showstopper has shown up. Well, just as Triple H wanted to cripple Shawn Michaels to put HBK Michaels, back in a wheelchair. Body slam. Shawn body Michaels slam by would Triple H. to do the same thing to the game. Uh -huh. You know what? I would Michaels be surprised out. to see Shawn Michaels drive that semi in here and try to jump off of it again, just like he did last week. A clothesline to Michaels. Oh, back to the head, back to the temple. How can, why can I not reverse? Why can I not reverse? There you go. Reversal. Yeah, there's the reversal. 
by Shawn Michaels. Stay down! Oh! Bruh! The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple oh, H Triple saw H. that one coming a mile away. Triple H. Well, Michaels are first. That was a huge counter. Michaels picks him up. Cover, and cover. One, two, two. Tri oh, Triple H. Oh, Shawn Michaels, Michaels gets the second fall. He's even things up. The winner of this fall, evening this bout at one fall apiece, Shawn Michaels. Steel well, Cage rising, and now but Shawn the title's is up on the ladder. Now, wait a minute. Both men are physically incapable of going up a ladder and now. now. The third and deciding How? Will be what will happen? As a ladder ladder. What oh will God. happen? Both men are not. Once again, it goes from bad to worse. Both men are down. Both men are incapacitated. How must they? Go climb a ladder and win the championship. No, Michael, I don't think either one of these superstars have the strength. It's Triple H power now. Left to even climb back to back. <laughs> Michaels. My Michaels, but Triple H. Sha Sean, sorry. Sean, I'm going for something, but. Oh, the knee. The knee, but Triple H. Versus. Oh, Triple H versus me. Sean was. Sean versus again. Floating neck breaker. Michaels gets out. Got his hands on oh, the ladder, getting right? the ladder. Oh, hits the ref. In. In, in inadvertently hits off. the ref. Oh no! Butt slap on the ladder! Oh my god! Oh my goodness gracious! Boom! Close line. Close line. Back suplex. I can't Critically damaged Michaels. Back after four years, not only just to be good, but to be DDT. great. To the world heavyweight champion. And quite frankly, I don't know of another athlete in the world. Triple H needed a face. Well, we've seen Triple H come back from some great injury himself, Paul. I mean, a torn quadriceps, the trachea injury he sustained at Survivor Series. Oh, on the, the ladder. He cut Triple H's right leg off at the knee, and he'd still compete here tonight. Blake reverses. Blake close line. Is that proof that Shawn Michaels is a half step slower than he used to be, or is it just a testament to the cerebral assassin's ability? Well, you know, it's probably a little bit of both. And if oh, Michaels is the flying show really form. Half a step slower. Believe me, well, Michaels. the cerebral assassin is going to take every oh, advantage. Oh, in the face. And Triple H somehow gets up still. He's heading up the ladder. Oh, Triple H! Where for, the, for the championship with Michaels? Michael drops him back down. This match has been amazing. Michael switching music! Oh my god. Triple H out of the ring. And you know what this means? If Shawn Michaels can get to his feet, all he's got to do is climb that ladder. What is Flair doing? Flair, putting uh, four tables on, on two tables on top of each other. Michael is going up. Michael is going for the World Heavyweight Championship, trying to retain. Well, Shawn Michaels has had the heck beat out of him, but somehow he's reaching down deep here. Make that last run. Oh, Triple H. Triple H. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shawn Michaels has been sent through four tables. Oh my Shawn God! Shawn Michaels is down. Bro, Shawn Michaels just went He's through got four a nasty tables. Bro. Object in his hands. What? Heading back to the top. Triple H going up. Triple H has won the title. The first two-time world heavyweight champion, Triple H.
Triple H is exhausted. But the game may have taken months of his own career, too. What an amazing performance by both men. Michaels is down on the outside. The Triple H has won the World Heavyweight Championship. Upset win. An upset win. Everybody wanted Michaels to win. This is a great match. Two out of three falls match. Triple H has never done that move ever. He looks retarded. <laughs> What will happen? After months of bitter, intense battles, Armageddon seemed to put a bookmark in the chapter of Triple H and Shawn Michaels. But there was certainly no rest for the weary. Just as the game and HBK were at their most vulnerable, other superstars were making their play to capitalize. HBK really does stand for Has Been Kid. Chris Jericho set his sights on ending the career of his childhood hero, Shawn Michaels. Meanwhile, Booker T challenged Triple H for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H may be looking at the next heavyweight champion of the world. Both rivalries would culminate in two epic encounters at WrestleMania 19. Michaels with a roll up. Oh, yes. And a green. Oh, yes. And a green. And it's over. But it wasn't until the night after WrestleMania that the game and HBK would cross paths again, granting a voice of reason to emerge from the shadows. You guys are my friends. We gotta get this together. You gotta know something, man. It ain't never gonna Kevin be being a normal fuck boy. You've gotta make a no, choice. I'm sorry. It's no. either him He's being a normal boy. Or me. Triple H, defiant in his ways. Refused to Kevin Nash light, is being like a child right now. Would again flare. Thank goodness for Nate and Jericho. They stopped Shawn Michaels at the very, very last second. There's Kevin Nash. Triple H is trying to explain to Nash that Shawn Michaels kicked Triple H. What? Oh my God, Triple H low. Oh my God, low blow. There's got to be a method to the madness of the game. In the backlash of the destruction, Triple H and Shawn Michaels would be joined by four top contenders in a three-on-three six-man tag team matchup. What a night it's gonna be Sunday at Backlash! And heads up, this is the Backlash that Goldberg debuted in. I'm just saying, Goldberg debuted in WWE on this very pay-per-view. Well, we have Jericho. What, what else? Jericho, Rick, Flair, and Triple H, Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels, and Booker T, I think. Man, in the wash. The following contest is a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. So many personal issues here tonight, especially with this man, Chris Jericho. Well, let me tell you, Cole, it takes a king to know a king. And Chris Jericho is now called the king of the world. And that's one king that wants to put a stop to the showstopper in this match tonight.
the legend himself, the 16 time world champion, Ric Flair. Weighing 234 pounds, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. It's Nate, one of the greatest of all time, a 16 time world champion. Wait a minute, Cole. Only his he has the record of being a 16 time like world champion. I'm, not, I'm, ta I'm talking about my past, my present. Here comes the World Heavyweight Champion, the Game Cerebral Assassin, Triple H. From Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 272 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Ripple H. When you're the World Heavyweight Champion, you're the very best. This man has made a career of proving people wrong. And Triple H said it earlier, he's going after Kevin Nash here tonight. Make no bones about it. Oh, and what a confrontation that could prove to me. But I don't know, even if I were Triple H, I might not be too anxious to go after the likes of Kevin Nash. Fun fact, if you watch my last Shen videos of this, which you never did, I'm talking to everyone, uh, you would see that I this game was lagging like crazy when I put the entrances on. So what I did I just uploaded the video. I didn't care about editing back then. That's that's why you couldn't see the entrances back then. I kind of trimmed it down so you couldn't see the entrances. They were too laggy. I'm just saying they're too laggy. I couldn't upload it. King Bucca from Houston, Texas, Texas, weighing 250 pounds. Coming for you, Booker T. Well, Booker T came within an eyelash of cutting the backlash as the World Heavyweight Champion, nearly defeating the game last Monday night on Raw. What kind of a mood is Booker T in here tonight? Well, you talked about an eyelash. All you got to do is look at Booker T's eyes. That'll tell you what kind of mood he's in. Guys, this might be a little bit of a long video, so bear in mind, this is going to be a long video, like 30, 30 minutes or 40 minutes long. I don't know why he has that in this song. Next up, Mr. Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania, and the Heartbreak Kid. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing 225 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels quite possibly in the best shape of his career. The showstopper. Well, you call him the showstopper. Some people call him the spotlight stealer. And right now, he's in the spotlight, that's for sure. 
Can Michaels win? The six man tag match of Backlash or will the team of uh, Triple H, Chris Jericho, and Ric Flair be the main heroes? We'll win this match. I kind of actually like this attire, black and gold. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 305 pounds, Kevin Nash! King, Kevin Nash has not been in the ring in a match in a long time, but tonight, Kevin Nash looks focused, looks ready, and he's got his eyes dead set on his former best friend, but now nemesis, Triple H. Well, you're right about that, Cole. Kevin Nash looks as good as he's ever been. Match has begun. I'm sorry I had to put you through those entrances. Think but about the dichotomy of this match. I'm sorry. Game. On one side, there you see Booker T, but Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash. And the Ooh. relationship they've had with that man, Triple H, over the years, and it's come down to this here tonight. Yeah, Kevin Nash. Triple H, Shawn Michaels. And he Triple wants H. to get his hands Kevin on Nash. Triple H, but look at this. Ooh, Jericho. Triple H wants not a big sexy, does he? Jericho in, and here comes Shawn Michaels. Jericho and Shawn. Shawn Michaels uh, with a little uh, mocking of the nature boy, Ric Flair, there before this match gets underway. Woo. Here they go. Yes, go Michaels, ahead, Jericho, who we're playing as. Play as Jericho. King, okay, that's kind of cool. Six of these men. All of them have at one point in their career been at the very top. Michaels. And Woo. probably the longest man at the top is Nate, Ric Flair. World heavyweight champion for years and years and years. Boom! And Flying for him. World heavyweight champion now. He's been at the top of his game for years too. But you're right Tag. about another thing, Cole. Every one of these guys is a true superstar Ooh. in every sense of the word. All six. Uh, cause I, cause um, Cat Nash is not on there. Want to see what? I mean, Ric Flair has this uh, running, jumping, knee drop, knee breaker, and figure four leg locks. To these men used to being in the spotlight, used in. to being in the middle of it all. Can we talk about being a team and not competing as individuals, but with so many egos in this match and so many guys wanting to go after one other guy? Is that even possible? Who knows? I mean, Cole, you have to look at these six individuals and tell me who do you think has the biggest ego? To answer your question, Whoa. it's hard to say. Who Flair, has the oh, Flair, ego among these oh, six the superstars. But if I had to pick. I pick Triple H to gain. He's the best there is. And Russian like be the first one to tell you that. Wait a minute, Triple H? Really? Come on, it has to be Shawn. Boom! I mean, his ego applied for statehood one time. <laughs> or what about Kevin Nash? His ego has its own. Oh, statehood. Booker T reverses. And he dodges that one. Boom! Yeah, another clothesline. Close another clothesline by the Nature Boy Rick. Player. Ooh. Reversal. And now he's back Boom. on the drop kick by Jericho. Uh, we know there are personal issues between just about every competitor in this match, but maybe the most interesting history Jericho. is between Shawn Michaels Suplex. and Chris Jericho. Can you imagine that Shawn Michaels used to be Chris Jericho's role model goal? Chris Jericho looked up. Ooh, it would dirty. be nice if somehow Chris Jericho could again find the respect that he once had for Shawn Michaels, but I don't know. Those days may be long, long gone. Well, you see, when you have Ooh, a hero, and then you become greater and better than your hero, it's hard to have respect Ooh, big for sexy. I don't know I mean, if Triple H is going inside. Feet Nash via pinfall oh, with Booker Triple H. Has got to be fired up. Boom! Knee to the face, Oz. Nate, 
Chris Jericho and Triple H. Well, especially Triple H. Booker T has big time recent issues with the game after nearly becoming the World Heavyweight Champion less than a week ago. DDT by Triple H. T and Triple H. Not even letting Kevin Nash inside this. I mean, the lives they've come from to get to where they are today are poles apart. Booker T Ooh, from Triple the H. street and Triple H from a place of privilege. I want to talk about the proper strategy. Bush is dragging kind of Kevin Nash to his corner so he doesn't target one individual tag opponent. the other person over wear there. Him down. Make the Close line. Tag. Get a fresh man in and wear your opponent down. That's classic tag team wrestling. Need to the Thank face. Tag to tonight. Jericho. You know exactly what you're talking about. Extremely seasoned performers. Big Jericho. Let's see what oh, he's back got. Suplex. As you said before the match, he hadn't been in the ring competing in a long, long time. Well, Bristol. True, Kevin Nash still looks to be in prime condition, King. Certainly one thing we know hasn't changed is that Big Daddy Cool. Oh, Triple H. Jericho strength. double team. Ooh. Man, Chris Jericho, what offense. Hey now. Drop kick. Cerebral assassin Sorry. is so ready. Shoulder block to the knee. And it sits that in and around no. the ring at all times. Trouble could come from any direction. Needless to say, the referee has a lot on his hands face. tonight. Wow, that's putting it mildly, Cole. This would have been Tag a good match wreck. to have two or even three referees. Look at that, oh. Cole. Dropped. And that was a hard, hard shot. DDT Red by Ric Flair. Force within the ring. Oh, a choke. Ric Flair choking Shawn misses. Michaels. That's what that is. Shawn Michaels switches it up. HBK can be Ooh. so unpredictable. Okay, reverses. Flair. Suplex. Oh, mama. Oh. Oh, Michaels. The innovation. Every time Shawn Michaels of a neck competes, by Michaels. he takes it up another level. And again, the feet fly. King, I've got to ask you, even though Kevin Ash and HBK well, Michaels, are competing Michaels. with his teammates tonight, we were trying to reverse Kevin Ash a couple of weeks ago, but HBK eventually would turn on him. Do you think that could happen here tonight? Well, I don't know. I mean, you never know. You never know what Michaels guys like reversal. HBK and Kevin Nash are thinking. Sure, they're friends now, but friends in their book means oh, I poke. you in the front. Oh, I poke. Low blow. Oh, my God. Well, there's the showboat, Shawn Michaels. Going the low. one thing you know he's going to try to do Flair's is, going low. is steal the spotlight from the entire well, Flair. team. Flair, Flair I mean, going for? All the attention to Flair is going for his knee. Oh, he dropped. What a move. Tagging in Jericho. Unless you tag and he Kevin Nash and now he's in Triple H. Oh, sure. Sean. Oh, look at oh And he's toast. So important that every member of both teams is on the Six same the page back. right now. I mean, you have to work as a team. It's already as a 38. Well machine. Because the team that will be successful is the team what? that's the most you great count. What? Shawn Michaels is always Michaels. in the spotlight. He's never shot in the spotlight. And tonight, the spotlight Ooh. is shining right break. on him. Oh, he loves the spotlight, all right. Listen, if you're not talking about Shawn Drop Michaels, kick. Shawn Michaels is a listen, And being a man who's made a career of being by himself, maybe Shawn Michaels is struggling a little bit, trying to work as part of the team. The king of the world right there. And we know what Chris Jericho is here tonight. Yes, Chris Jericho talked about it before the match. He said he wants to take out Shawn Michaels. Is that a smart strategy to use in a match like this, though? Another well, one. Chris Jericho Another can one, Shawn Michaels whenever Jericho. he gets the chance. But he's got to make sure he stays Again? in sync. What a move. Bro, what, what is this? Move. 1992? His partner doesn't have much left. And he might need to do this one on his own. We have to focus a little bit on oh, Shawn Michaels, Kevin handle. Ash, and Triple H. Their relationship, how close hey, these three men used to be. Um, well, everybody person, knows about him. I mean, about As racist, history, and I'm sorry. Like brothers, but though. seriously, at one like, point, I'm Kevin Ash, Shawn Michaels, <laughs> and Triple H were like brothers, King. Like you said, but that was a long was time far. ago. And tonight, Kevin Nash and HBK are on the opposite side of the ring from the game, staring him down along with Ric Flair and Chris Jericho. Well, you're right, Cole. It was Ooh. a long time ago. Jericho. In everybody's mind, that memory is fresh. One. Nash thought that when he came back to the WWE, that he'd be able to reunite two. the two and put these guys back together. But now Power bomb. Man, <laughs> that'll 
Don't take the wind out of your sails. Booker T, so athletic. We all know about his past, but the fact is that he's here now. And Booker NZ T is Curry. obviously one of the elite superstars. It Come on, Taggy Nash. Yeah, the Quick, I bro. Have with him is that Booker T is a known lawbreaker. I mean, he has no respect for the rules whatsoever. T, our like he's the best kind of teammate you could have. Oh, finally, finally, we have Kevin One Nash. One thing to make sure of is don't ever turn your back oh, on any of these guys. Don't ever get caught napping. Yeah, some incredibly intelligent, opportunistic superstars in the ring tonight. Triple H is so smart. Jericho, so over neck breaker. So All of them really some Jericho needs to tag in Triple H, team is and he does. Extremely well this far. The game, Triple H. Now he's back out on the apron. The question with Kevin Ash coming in tonight was. Did he come back a few weeks ago? Would ring rust be an issue for him? Well, I don't know about that, Cole. Boom, that may be just lining. the case because Big Daddy Cool is not very cool right now. But like no, Kevin Nash, over seven breaker. feet, over 300 pounds. So, so strong, has the strength to turn any situation around. Triple H, oh, he's spine buster, spine buster. You look at Kevin Nash and that size of his, and you know what they say. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? No. Usually when it comes to Ooh, Kevin Triple Nash, H, the Triple H, are, the harder they punch. But pedigree, pedigree, pedigree. pedigree. He's seen it. He's going for the pin. This what? He's putting those educated feet to good use. He thinks he has it. One, two, that's it. Shoulder up in time. What? What, a what in the hell, bro? It's a reversal there. Go! Oh. He may get the three count right here. And he breaks up the count. My God, there's so much on the line here. Oh, what a knee! There you go, Sean, buddy. Oh wait, he's not my buddy anymore. Bro, what are you doing? No, don't take it him! He's going for it all. Ah. Tagging Nash, please. Back in. Oh, right, 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 please, 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 please. Can he score the pin? One. He breaks up the pin, and the match continues. And he doesn't stay down for long. This has been a great counter. Oh, yes, 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 Incredible counter. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. There's the yes. cover. Yes. Can he do it? Oh, and he breaks no, up the no, count. No, My no, God, there's no, so much on the line no, here. No, I've been standing here for two hours. I don't that want should do it right there. there. Kevin after the quick kick. No, he's going to tag back in. He's going to tag back in. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. And he's heading back inside the ring.
Oh my god! That took so long! <laughs> he's always got an equalizer! I mean, he's always got back! Triple H again proving why he's the cerebral assassin king. Why he's the world heavyweight champion. I'm gonna have to. Doing whatever it takes to stay on top. <gasps> Doing whatever it takes to remain the very This is a long and video. An, an hour and 13 minutes. Now. Guys, when that sets it here, this is too, I'm tired. Thank you guys for watching this. If you liked it, like this video. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit that like button. Peace out, homeboys.